please stand for a moment of silence. And now the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L. Good morning, Western Row. I'm Dave Skylark. And I'm Richard Sherman, and I'm better than y'all at life. Yeah. Sorry, I thought y'all were Skip Bayless. All right. In school news, yearbook sales end this Wednesday, January 28th. You can purchase it online at GoRebs.org or bring $70 cash to room 6204. You will receive a bracelet upon purchase. If you ordered online and didn't get your bracelet, stop by Ms. Kuiper's room. Did you know that the American Cancer Society Relay for Life this year is happening April 17th at our own Rebel Stadium? Did y'all know that? No. I didn't either. We are looking forward to involving our student body in everything. The 2015 Relay for Life shirts that were designed by our own Elisa Wright and Jack Carter are ready to be ordered. The cost is $12 and the shirts may be ordered in Mrs. Clark, Coach Daigle, Ms. Gamley, or Mrs. Lemoyne's room. Some good looking shirts right there. Attention juniors, if you're interested in becoming a member of National Honor Society, you may pick up an application from Miss Foster, room 5108. This deadline to turn in the completed form is Friday, January 30th. Students who are at least 18 year, years old have the opportunity to volunteer at Camp Quality this summer. This is a camp for children and teens who are cancer patients. Information is posted on Edline under news on your homepage. <clears throat> in sports news, the annual football banquet will be held Thursday, February 5th at 6.30 p.m. at the West Monroe Convention Center. Tickets are $20 and will be sold in the main office. Anyone can attend this event, so please come out and support our football program. That's two for 40. Event. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> Three for place. 60. Everybody should be there. We are hosting the second annual Red Out event for the American Heart Association on Tuesday, February 3rd at 5.30 p.m. in the new gym. Tadpoles will be selling shirts to help raise money for research to fight against heart disease. They are $10 for a small to extra large. There will be an extra charge for shirts above XL. Shirts should be sold during lunch shifts in Ms. Cavan's room or just ask a Tadpole member. This will get you free and wait into the basketball game for free. Here's your heart face of the day. Heart, oh, heart fact, not face. <laughs> we don't want a heart face of the day. Did you know that your heart weighs as much as a sneaker? But no one says sneaker anymore, so just imagine a shoe. I, I thought we said that last week. I I'm pretty sure that was, that was last week's joke. Well, it's still a fact. The West Monroe Rebels defeated Alexandria Senior High 1-0 on Friday night. Norman Pertilla scored the lone goal for the Rebels, who moved to 14-34 and 34 on the season. And that's, that's not true. It's 14-3-4. Oh, well, there's no dashes on the teleprompter. That's that's their fault, but I'm pretty sure it's not right. I apologize. Yeah, you know, the anyway, good. that'd be a terrible record. Why don't record. you just go ahead and say the announcement? No, I mean, Please, no, no you go ahead. be my guest. My mic's down. Be our guest. <laughs> the be Rebels play a big game tonight at home, and they're going to take on Washtenaw at 530. And the winner will have the inside track for the district title. Remember, attendance for students is free, and the weather will be great. So come on out and support the Rebels because it's also senior night. That is tonight at 530. And it's at home against Washtenaw tonight. Be there. See you there. Congratulations to the Lady Rubber Power. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Rubber Power. Rubber Power team. <laughs> the Lady Rebel Powerlifting team on their second place finish at the Alexandria Senior High Invitational this weekend. First place finishers were Megan Ruffin, Emily Cartwright, Markeisha Modicu, and Asia Jordan. Second place finishers were Abigail Gissendanner, Carmisha Hines. Third place winners were Kelsey Bearden. Also, congratulations to the Lady, Lady Rubber, whatever team they Them want. Them too. Y'all yeah. are important as well. Yeah. I agree. Before we go to club news, here's a special segment about one of our clubs on campus, A Heck. Heck? Good morning. I'm Nick Craig here with a couple of A Heck students. JC Javier, 
Hey. And Dayton Thompson. Hey. All right, guys. At which hospital did you both volunteer? Oh, I volunteered at Glenwood Regional Medical Center. And I volunteered at University Health Conway. Sweet. Which department did you most enjoy rotating through with your time with the hospitals? My favorite rotation was when we went through surgery, because when you went to surgery, it was up close and personal, and you, you, get, you got to see the most out of surgery, and all the surgeons were really willing to teach you and show you the different things that were going on. What about you, JC? Oh, yes, for me, it was the same, because surgery, because I got to see a leg amputated. Sweet. What kind of amputation does he see? Um, feet, leg, yeah. Ooh. All right. What did you guys do every day at AHEC? Dayton? Uh, we would show up at the hospital in the morning, and then we would go through our rotation, and then after that, we would go to lunch, and then after lunch, we would have either some kind of activity or trip, like we would either go learn how to suture, learn CPR, we'd go visit uh, one of the places around that would let us. Sweet, what about you, JC? It was, it was the same for about every hospi hospital. I got you, I got you. All right, what activity did you enjoy the most while you were participating in the program? Dayton? My favorite activity was when, uh, it was the first couple of days, they taught us how to suture, which is sewing, just it's how to sew somebody up and they let us practice on a banana peel. Cool, cool. What about you, JC? Well, for me, I think I like the CPR activity because I got to learn how to do CPR. Yeah, yeah. I got you, all right. <laughs> Which trip interested you the most? Oh, I like the trip to Ruston, to the LA Center for the Blind, because I got to see how people with that disability get to be independent and then learn to be independent without anybody's, um, yeah. yeah, anybody else's help, I got you. Yeah. All right, what about you, Dayton? My favorite, my favorite trip was actually, it wasn't a trip, um, the, the vet came to see us, mm. and he talked to us, and he had his, uh, his van, where he would perform surgeries, and he would check animals out in the van, and that was pretty cool. Sweet. Did they have contribute on deciding what occupation you would, you do, you would do in the future? Uh, yeah, going into AHEC, I, I was pretty sure I wanted to be a registered nurse. Um, but going through it, I looked through and I saw what everybody did in the different rotations we went through. And I'm still going to get my nursing degree, but it, going through AHEC made, took me and pushed me that one step further. And now I want to go and get my nurse practitioner. Sweet. What about you, Jesse? Well, yeah, at first I wanted to be a registered nurse too, but then... Now I'm deciding whether to be in pharmacy or specialize in um, doctor of some sort, I guess. Please, so y'all would say that this was definitely a worth it experience for sure? Yes. Oh, yeah, completely. I, I wouldn't trade my time. At so what would you say to anybody that's kind of like going through their mind, you know, should I do it, should I not? What, what would you say to them? I would say do it because yeah. if going through, you're going to learn so much and you're going to experience a lot. And it's going to really help you decide whether or not you want to go into the medical field. Yeah, you get to see a lot of different things in the hospital, getting used to the hospital mode kind of thing. I got you. All right, well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks, guys. Nick. Oh, hey. Man, I mean, that was a, that was a long and good inter you know, interview. I think that was pretty impressive. Not really, but. You were quick. Hey, you were like there and back. I don't, was don't downgrade yourself. You did perfect. Thank you. Well, let's talk about a serious issue. Why do you have to pay more money for bigger shirts? Like, what, what's the deal there? Art Club will have a meeting next Thursday, January 29th, in Mrs. Ganley's room right after school until 4 p.m. <laughs> Please make plans to attend this business meeting. Spring plans will be discussed. Mythology Club meets Wednesday at 3.15. That says 3.15, but I know it's 3.15. And Friday at 7.25, this week in Miss Barnett's room, 4105. Is that even a real club? I thought it was a myth. The Interact Club will serve food at the homeless shelter on Desired Street in Monroe for our next service project. This will take place Saturday, January 31st at 9 a.m. Come sign up outside Mrs. Knox's room if you're interested in helping. I need at least 10 volunteers. That means Ms. You, Ms. Knox. You need Ms. it? Knox talking. Or Ms. Knox needs it. I don't need 10 volunteers. I would suggest it, though. I would encourage it. That's I mean, all the announcements we have for you today, West Monroe. Have a good day. Yes. Oh, that was rude. Sorry.